Alias, faction fighters have spotted Sopot. I'm transmitting his last location. Yes. We have him in our sights. Then shoot him! Um, I didn't mean that literally. Hey, welcome back to Red Faction 2. We're on the third level, which is basically just an on-rail shooting segment, as you can see here. Um, SCR is here with me yet again. Why are we and going after a soapbox? We're going after... You know what, I want to call him Soapbox now, thanks. Um, Soapot, or Soapbox, um, he's just an evil dictator and all that shit, so... Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, it's one of those. We must save the Commonwealth from, uh... Sopot. So you... you Nant, And since... Uh, Alias and the rest of the squad you're with, um... Were... Used to work for Sopot and pretty much just got rid of you and wanted you dead. Uh, you basically allied with the Red Faction and said, just... Go ahead and take out Sopot. Um... Uh, now... Remember last video when you uh, asked if Steve Bloom was in this game? Uh, yeah, I did find out some of the people who were in this game, though. Oh, so you weren't... Oh, I thought I was the only one that went to look that crap up. Uh, um, no. yeah, I was not expecting this. Uh, um, yeah, Steve Bloom is not in this game at all. But I found out that Jason Statham is the voice of Shrike, and Lance Henriksen is Molov. Lance Henriksen is awesome. And I did not know this until I looked it up after the first video was done. And honestly, I'm quite surprised by that, so... I'm just gonna call this, uh... Probably just gonna call this episode, uh... Lance Henriksen and Jason Statham. That's it. Uh, Lance Henriksen, Jason Statham, yeah. Red Faction What was this game called again? Right, Red Faction 2. Uh, uh, this level is actually very simple, since it's just on rails, you can't really move around, you, you don't control the gunship. Uh, you're basically given... Uh, Aside from infinite ammo on everything, you've got like the machine gun, you've got rockets, and that's about it. You can zoom in, you can also lock on. Uh, question. Yeah? Are those random other ships flying around chasing you down, or are you chasing them down? Oh, they're trying to take you down. Oh, well they're... Uh, their hover in place very close and not firing strategy seems to be paying off. Yeah, considering they don't take that much sometimes, uh, just to take them down. Um, this level is, uh, fairly standard. Your ship's, uh, health meter in the upper right, it doesn't regenerate, but after a level transition in loading screen, it goes back to 100%, so it's not completely unfair. It's actually very easy that way. I've kind of stopped paying attention to the actual action and started trying to, like, spell out things in the lights on the buildings. Oh, I can't really... Oh, you're just trying to see if they spell words or something? Yeah, that one spells X. Off to the right, we've got. Uh, pretty sure that said Andy. Uh, now in front of us, we've got what appears to be a midget. No, that's just an enemy right there. No, I was talking about on the building. Ah. Uh, um, I was gonna mention this last video. I would have put subtitles in. But this game doesn't have subtitles, so for the people that want to read the dialogue, uh, you're kind of screwed because they decided to not put subtitle Aliens options strike. in the game. Sorry about that, and I'm not going to go through every Our part and figure out what they're saying just to edit in my own subtitles. That would just be a little to too much work for me. More info about this level, uh, there's really no main objective, but 
there are a bunch of bonus objectives that are actually really easy to figure out since your colleagues do tell you what to do. Like way earlier, I had to blow up a fuel station, and that got me a bonus objective complete. If you miss it, though, uh, you saw that we went back around to kill some extras. You could just complete it that way. But some of them were just one chance, and you can't really uh, go back and do them. But they don't matter that much. Unless you really want the best ending in the game. Alias, we have a squad in a building ahead of you. They're being hit from all sides and need your help desperately. Faction troops are on the Oh, and uh, this one character, Echo, I didn't exactly mention him in the last video. And um, I accidentally killed a civilian here. And, yep, that got me a red star. I'm now sort of bad, I guess. It doesn't really matter. That's like the only civilian I killed in this uh, entire video. You killed one to save thousands. He died for our sins. Uh, now, about Echo, uh, he's basically part of the Red Faction. He's the one that... Is pretty much just telling you this kill Sopai encourages you on. I don't exactly like him, he's kind of annoying. And there's really nothing else special about Echo, really. So he's a cheerleader. Actually, yeah, that's not pretty, that's pretty uh, close, actually. So many billboards. Just I don't know about that... you, but I should I could sure go for a bottle of soap pop. <laughs> so yeah, there really isn't much to say about this level other than just blow everything up and hope that it isn't a civilian. Is that an SM poster with men on it? Ugh. Hey, don't knock it till you tried it. I mean... You know something I don't? With your heart so pot. <laughs> oh, new enemy, uh, battle armor. Uh, yeah, baby. I want some of that battle armor. Yeah, it looks really, yeah, look how uh, threatening it is. Yeah, it looks really dangerous. Um, apparently since that was a bonus objective, you didn't have to do that, but you kind of want to since he will probably Did that say you. gay nerds? Wait, what? It looked like that poster said... I think it does say gay nerds! In 3D, no less. Time to get up Coming soon, the theater's near you. Another new enemy type, they're... They're called the process, but they're really just uh, nano-like zombies that can shoot at you. You see them more on later in the game, so there really isn't much to talk about these guys right now. So the process of killing them is aim, shoot, until dead, repeat. Kind of like everything else. Uh huh. So yeah, now our ship crashed. I don't know where Shrike went. He probably just ran off. Um, you're stuck underground, so we gotta get our way out. And I think I just saw an ad for the rock up there or something. Another new enemy type, uh, they're security bots. They pretty much die in one hit, and they can usually alert other enemies. Oh, new weapon, shotgun. You're gonna love the secondary fire on this thing. That's a shotgun? Yep. The way the shotgun looks in this game is weird, and as you just saw, the secondary fire can light people on fire. It's usually funny oh, when, uh... <laughs> when they're still alive, and they're on fire, they'll just run around, and they will not shoot you. They will just run around on fire until they die. I want to stick pieces of toast in this shotgun. But it might be burnt since it like fires how many at once? 
Um, well, I never had any intentions of eating it. Just give the toast to the enemies and say, Hey, cook this on your friend. I hope you like it. Nah, have to buy your own butter, though. Primary fire on the shotgun doesn't require pumping. It's uh, pretty fast, but the secondary fire is slower, but lights people on fire. And, of course, has uh, less reserve ammo that you can find. Now, I don't know why he's just running in place there. I have a lot of fun in this uh, level with this shotgun, actually. I can see that. Now, with that first hole in this one, enemies will th uh, just throw grenades down at you. This one, they love to throw more than one. Like, this guy ends up throwing three at me, and I just... I don't know why, because I don't see the other guy throwing them. Those grenades they were throwing appear to be about as effective as uh, all the other enemies in this game. You already saw the grenades worked in uh, the first- OH GOD! And yeah, you can survive pretty uh, high falls most of the time. Must be nano-enhanced stuff. Yeah. Who knows how much shit we're swimming through. Now, first time I actually went through this level way back, I got confused at what to do, but the solution is incredibly easy. As you'll see in a bit. I actually tried this before. Um, and as you can see over there, there's some ammo. I still do not know how to get up there. And yeah, those are the noises that the bots make if they spot you, so yeah. Yeah, all you had to do was uh, activate the valve to raise the water. I swear I did that and it wouldn't work, so I got stuck for a while. But then when I did it again, it actually, uh, actually did it, so I'm like, what? Kind of felt dumb after that, though. But yeah, there's like extra ammo in over there and I have no idea how to get up there. Oh, and those tiny robots, they can shoot at you, but they really don't do a lot of damage. So, so they're, more they're more for surveillance than anything else. Yeah, and they're kind of there to be annoying. That seems to be like every enemy in the game so far. It's just there to be annoying. Then again, you are uneasy. Well, yeah. But trust me, parts later on in the game kind of justify that I'd rather go through easy than just be stuck forever on normal. Now you can get some extra shit if you go over here, and uh, if you do that, though, this happens. I don't know how she fell down there, though. Get some extra med kits and uh, some extra shotgun shells, and right here, the phosphor shells, the the flaming shots. That was an incredibly nonchalant death. Yeah, it wasn't even screaming when she fell. It was just, uh, ah, uh, this is going to suck. Oh no, I fell to my death. Whatever shall I do? Now, going over here, aside from a couple of extra ammo and health kits, there's really no point. Other than just more, uh, little bots showing up. And I have no idea how they blew up that wall with bullets, because as far as I know, they don't have explosives. Uh, with this recording, I was trying to figure out if there was a way to raise the water again with that valve, and apparently doesn't do anything. So I just was thinking, like, maybe it could just to get the ammo way back there, but nope. And there's ammo up there for some reason, and I honestly have no idea how you're supposed to get up there. I highly doubt you can rocket or grenade jump in this game, so it's a little confusing. What about parkour? Don't convince me to buy Mirror's Edge again, damn it.
but parkour would be interesting. But apparently you're demolitions, you're not capable of uh, moving like that. Hey, look, it's a train. Very small train. Rather, sl rather slow train, it must be a school zone. Can't hurt me. I'm safe down here. Trains can't hit me here, you see. I honestly think that civilian is drunk. That were mentally retarded. Never Looks like one of the bobs from Office Space. You mean the stapler guy? No. Uh, one of the consultants. Oh, well. Don't remember that much about Office Space. I have the movie, or my brother does, uh, but I haven't really seen all of it. Oh, uh, another extra grenade type. These are satchel charges. They're more like timed grenades than anything. They can stick to surfaces and, uh, yeah, they can take a little bit to explode. I don't use it much here since, well, the train does come consistently. Very slowly. Is that the same train? Uh, they loop the same train over and over until you get to a certain point. Because what you're supposed to do is just blow up the walls and hide in them if you're on the track. And I think I blew up half of the train that way. But it's, it's completely fine, it won't derail or anything. Okay, you're gonna hijack that train and then your group will be indestructible from the rest of the game. What, if it's derailed? Yeah, we can just drive through all of the walls and everything. So where's the part where you accidentally blow up a pillar and cause the entire, entire tunnel to collapse? Uh, funny you mentioned that. No, you don't blow up a tunnel, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> and near the end, you really don't need to, like, hide in them, but... You just need to, like, hide in about one or so. See, like, around this point, they so stop coming. Says, mine the track, mine the track, don't mind me. Usually after this one. Oh, new enemy. Spider bots, they're really annoying. Again, they die in one shot, but if they hit you, they can do a fair amount of damage from the explosion, so uh, you don't want to get hit by them. They seem now, more like grasshopper bots than anything else. I was expecting another train to come if I went down here, but no, the train stopped coming. And, yeah, an invisible wall, you can't go down there. Uh, I would apparently say it's I found good a... That, yeah? I would say it's good that the train stopped coming, but... Now that just means it's gonna get horribly behind schedule. Yeah, you know, I, um... Just a moment ago, I found, like, uh... Just a secret compartment with rockets and incendiary grenades. Which, I did not know what was there, I was just testing it, and, well... Might as well blow that up to get that, because that's actually pretty helpful. You know the only thing that can make this better? What? TV grenades. TV grenades. Ugh. Don't make me delay Killzone 2 for that game instead. I mean, it only took an hour and 30 minutes. So I could probably just do three videos on it and be done with the game that quickly. And that was just on a normal playthrough. Okay, we appear to be entering the subway from Max Payne. Yeah, uh, getting hit by a lot of these will do a good amount of damage, so avoid them. Ugh. Now that's the way you're supposed to go. First time through, found that by accident because I think a spider blew it up for me. But yeah, you're supposed to go this way, but I'm gonna take a quick stop somewhere else first after we uh, uh after we get through here. Whole army of them, and I think we're in the men's bathroom. No mirrors, though, so we can't see ourselves jump. No toilets, either. 
Those spiders must have wrecked it. I'm not gonna check the woman's bathroom because we're gonna be nice. We're not gonna be indecent. Not These yet. These alien bastards are gonna pay for messing up my toilet. <laughs> oh, this is a. Uh... This segment of the level, I probably have the most fun with the shotgun here. So prepare to see a lot of flaming dead bodies. Because we're actually in a train station now. And no, that train won't cheaply run up to you and run you over at its slow speed. More example of the shotgun on fire. Except it's not fun when they usually die instantly from it. It's funnier when they live like that. It's a little funnier how they run back to their teammates as though they're trying to spread it. Um, there's points where the enemies can run into you, but you cannot catch on fire because of this. It doesn't even hurt you when that happens. So it's kind of pointless. But if... It worked like Time Splitters, where fire, the person on fire touches you, and it gets a chain reaction. That would have been the funniest thing ever. The only thing that can make that better is if it was like, uh, blood, where when you light someone on fire with like the flare gun, and they start running towards you screaming, it burns, it burns! Never played blood. I know what it is, but I've never played it. You, you really should play it. Yeah, like this. They run into you and doesn't do anything. And they still have that stoic look on their face. Now there's this woman in this corner. I didn't expect this to happen. It's even creepier when her mouth doesn't even move when um, she's talking to you. It's really weird and... I wanted to go back to her, but now she's scared that I light people on fire. You want a candlelight? I just gave it to you twice! It's like she thought she was in a completely different game. She probably was. Pro aiming! Alias, I'm on the far side of the bridge. Get over here! Alright, this is the the last leg of the the level. Remember those pillars you mentioned with the tunnel? Oh. Yeah, we're Seriously. gonna we're gonna do that to the bridge. Now a Wait, lot of yeah. aren't we meeting someone on the bridge? Yeah, at the far end. A lot of enemies jump out of the top end. Just for convenience sake, there's two trains going separate ways, so we gotta watch both ways. So I assume we're blowing up the bridge after we meet the person at the far end. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Now, I was gonna do something convenient here, but... After- as soon as you find out, I actually blow up the wrong end... ...of the pillars, so I have to come back and do it again. This was another weapon that was in the tutorial that I never exactly explained. Uh, this is the assault rifle. It's actually fairly decent. Primary fire has a burst fire, but the secondary fire is fully automatic, so... I can't exactly tell if, uh... If either or are different in accuracy, and... Yes, the enemy AI is stupid enough to stand in front of the train and get ran over. And the enemy is randomly dying, uh, that's Quill sniping them. And they usually get them on that side than the one I'm at right now. I couldn't see very well. Were, were the, pillar, the pillars uh, hollow inside? Uh, no, they're not. There's uh, steel girders inside of the rock formed thing. Okay, it was kind of hard to see. Also, I just love this. Grenade! They just, even though they don't see you, and you just plant a satchel charge, they just yell grenade. 
Here's the third grenade type, uh, incendiary. Um, I'm terrible at throwing them most of the time. Like right here, I missed them like three times. Or, no, I actually missed them twice. He looked like he's speed skating. This guy goes at it for quite a while. He must be a pro at, like, fire dancing. You know, running around just gets more oxygen to the flames. It's really kind of counterproductive. Alias, you're the demolitions guy, so I'll leave this to you. To blow the bridge, you'll need to rig all three pylons. Knock out the concrete layer on each pylon. Then plant your charge on the steel core inside. When you're done, you'll have 30 seconds to get back here. I'll be watching your back through my scope. Now, earlier I said that I screwed up what I was doing uh, with the pillars. Uh, with this objective, um, Alias, you have to blow up a side. certain side of said pillar. You can't do either and put just one charge on it. That's not how it works. Normally, Does like, the, the one side you have to blow up is the one right next to the ladder. And I forgot this, so now I have to blow it up again. As you can see, I'm just like, oh shit. Oops, I did the wrong side. So, Grenade! does that mean the bridge has to fall a specific way? Good work. Well, these charges are timed once all three are set up. Which is why... I don't know, it, they, she just said you have 30 seconds once all three are set up. The charge was inside the pillar. Oh no, the icon to place it was inside the pillar. If the charge was already there, then why would we do this? One more to go. It, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I understand if you're up. Um, which is what, since you only have 30 seconds, it's much easier to start at the far back than work your way back up. It really seems like they're idiot-proofing it by doing that, though. Also, I just love how the music is completely well gone Get now. It's now. completely silent. I've been waiting. Need a gunner. Let's go, Alias. <laughs> 